I'm Pam Merritt from The Wave Cat. What is the way? The way is a cat training philosophy which emphasizes communication, a concept built on understanding the cat's unique needs, and a method to create a loving pet through mutual respect. That is when we know we are a cat perfect match. People ask me how the blog got started. It was a conversation with a friend of mine who's also a big cat appreciator. And I was saying, I've been reading cat books for years and years, but none of them ever discussed the really fun or interesting parts of cats. Things like having a spokes cat or the Vulcan mind meld. Things that all cat lovers know and yet nobody ever talks about. So I said, what did you think if I started a blog where I talked about all these things? And she got so excited. And that's what made me decide to do it. And I'm here to tell you the secret to making your cat your friend. The secret is making your cat your friend. Because a lot of people think, oh, it's like a dog. I'm supposed to be the boss. But that doesn't work. And then they think, oh, well, then the cat wants to be the boss and won't be my friend. And that's not true either. The keys to a good cat relationship is equality, respect, and genuine love. And then your cat will do what you ask because you ask nicely. And then you'll want to make your cat happy because it makes you happy. This is how the way of cats works. And my whole philosophy is based on cat misunderstandings. People misunderstanding cats. Because cats do just fine. In fact, cats have a lot more intelligence and understanding than we give them credit for. This is why so many cat training or raising or enjoying philosophies fall by the wayside. The way of cats is based on how cats do things. People think cat psychology is something complicated, when the truth is, it's a lot like our psychology. We respond to respect. We need to have things explained clearly in a way we can understand. And we want to know we're not being taken for a ride or taken advantage of. So when we interact with our cats, we need to make sure we communicate clearly and put a lot of emotion into our requests. Because the only reason cats are going to go against their own wishes is when their friend asks them to nicely. Did you know there are three different kinds of cats? I call them cat types. It doesn't have a whole lot to do with their breeding or lack of. It's the kind of outlook they have and the way they interact with their environment. An alpha cat is a high energy cat with lots of intelligence and curiosity, and they'd like to act directly on their environment. Well, they don't have the opposable thumbs, and their world is not designed by them, but they do the best they can. The next cat type is the beta cat. I like to think of it as the Dr. Watson to your Sherlock Holmes. They love being your companion. They see us as the key to getting the environment the way they want. So they're great communicators and wonderful social cats who can bring other cats into our world too. And then the third type is the gamma, who doesn't know they can impact their environment. They need a lot of support and help because their sweet, sensitive, even shy nature requires us to open up our communications doors, appreciate the gamma for the low key ease, and make sure they get what they want because they're shy about asking. One of my favorite cat games, no, it's my favorite cat game. It's called the game of mutual regard. And we start playing it with our cat when they reach adolescence, which is also the time a lot of people feel, you know what's wrong with a kitten? They grow up to be a cat. And think it's a cat's nature to be independent and aloof. Well, it is a cat's nature to be independent. But they don't have to be aloof. They only get that way when we don't realize they're playing a game. 
They want to see if we'll make the first move, if we'll make these gestures of love, if we're going to commit. Now they're not all little and cute anymore. So what we do when we play the game of mutual regard is see them and raise them. If they're being aloof, we come and make a fuss. If they respond, it's their turn. And this is how the cat plays the game, because a cat is about equality. What is the trickiest cat maneuver? It's adding the second cat. Because the first cat feels like they own the place. We're a little nervous that the cats won't get along. And before you know it, we don't have as many cats as we should have. Because cats are very social. And it's a lot of fun to see them interact. So what's my best advice for adding second cat? Matching. Matching personalities. Matching types. Matching energy levels. By going alpha to alpha, they have plenty of energy to play with each other. By going gamma to gamma, you won't have somebody getting harassed. Adding a beta at any time is an excellent move because they're very social, they can speak cat and human, and they will help the new cat feel at ease. The way of cats is a system designed to show the cat that you want to be their friend, then they love you and want to do things for you, which makes training really easy. I say half of training is communication, and the other half is love. Because if your cat wants to please you, and they do, you will have an easy time of it just by telling the cat what you want, and maybe negotiating how it's going to happen. But I direct my cats from across the room with just some sayings or some movements of my hand. People don't believe it, but you can do it.